everyone. I'm Stephanie Gamolka, Oxygen.com correspondent, and we're here with continuing live coverage of the one and only CrimeCon, and I'm joined with former prosecutor Lonnie Coombs. Lonnie, I'm so excited to be here with you. Oh my goodness, it's great to be here, Stephanie. This is amazing. What, so tell me about the panel that you're taking part in CrimeCon this weekend. So I'm hosting what's called the Jury Experience, and this is my first time at CrimeCon. So I've never seen this before, they've done it before, but it sounds amazing. There's actually a trial done with live actors that the juries get to listen to, and then there's arguments, and then there's jury instructions, and then they actually deliberate and come up with their own verdicts, and we'll talk about the results. That is so cool. Yeah. And um, so, you know, as a former prosecutor, is there something that you wish most jurors would know about you know, the criminal justice system. Yeah, I don't think people realize how much power the jury has. I mean, they are the ones who decide what is true and what is credible, and then they decide the fate of the person who's being charged. So juries have a lot of power. If people want to do something to make the justice system better, serve on your jury and make your voice heard. Right, right. You know, you've worked on so many shows here at Oxygen, but Final Appeal was one of my favorites, and I know you got to work with Brian Banks, who now has a film coming out based on his uh, life. What was it like to work with Brian? Brian was great. You know, his story is so compelling, and as we were filming Final Appeal, he was actually going through some experiences for the first time, like he went back to a prison for the first time since he had been let out of prison. So there were a lot of emotional moments there that were very real and very personal that we shared while we were filming that show. So we really bonded over that. Mm -hmm. Have you seen the trailer for the movie? I have, and I'm going to a premiere of it um, oh. in Long Beach with Brian. He is so excited about this movie, and I am too. I mean, the cast is amazing. You've got Morgan Freeman and Greg Kinnear and Sherry Shepard, yeah. and then um, the guy who's playing Brian and Banks is Aldous Hodge, who is this up-and-coming star in the making. So it's going to be a great movie. Yeah, that trailer alone can make you cry. Yeah. Um, you know, another story I, that's in the news cycle again, and I just want to get your thoughts on it, is, you know, with the Manson family, every time a member is up for parole, Leslie Van Houten was just denied the third time. You know, as a former prosecutor in the state, what do you think about that? You know, I just think that there is so much attention on that case. It is so famous, so infamous, and what they did was so heinous. Um, I think if it didn't have so much attention and it wasn't such a heinous crime at this point, with all of the mitigating factors in her favor, she might have been uh, paroled. But the parole board actually, you know, said they would be okay with it, but the governor said no way. And I, and I honestly think that that might just be the way it is. Mm -hmm. You know, we can see people trickling in. There's opening statements. We can feel the energy of CrimeCon really kicking off here. Oh my goodness, there's so many people. Right? And they're allowed to do this, um, you know, who would you call and you can click on oxygen talent, if it's, you know, Paul Holes, Lonnie Coombs, the Martinis Murder Squad, um, if you were booked and in jail. I want to know who would Lonnie Coombs call? If I was charged with a crime, <laughs> I would be calling Paul Holes. Ooh, why? <laughs> because I think that he would get into the evidence and find the truth. Mm -hmm. I really trust him to find the truth, and obviously I would not be guilty, <laughs> so the truth would be set me free. <laughs> um, Billy stopped here earlier. I just want to let you know he picked you as his one oh, phone call. Oh, honor. I, I love Billy. That's <laughs> so sweet. It is. Paul Holes is the host of the weekend. We know opening marks are starting soon. Thank you, Lonnie, so much for joining us. We'll okay. be continuing the live coverage here at CrimeCon, and soon, if you're, I'm embarrassed to say it, but I'm going to say it, if you're hashtag hot for holes, you got to keep it with us. He'll be here right after opening statements here at 20